What is up guys, so today I'm back with another video and in today's video I will be showing y'all how to make your own bushings. So you can't really see them because they're uh, pretty small of course. Um, here, like on my setup I don't really have these bushings on because this is kind of like my main right now. And just to let you know, these bushings, they're not like the best bushings out there like just because like I don't recommend that y'all like, um, that y'all like use them as a as like a professional bushing i just recommend like let's say you have an outdoor setup and you don't really have any bushings for it uh this is like the way to go just like making your own they're pretty good uh if you like loose trucks i don't know about tight trucks and you're gonna need some washers if you want to put them because if you don't you're gonna like squish it and that's not really that good so yeah um i'm gonna teach you how to make this and if you're wondering didn't i make a video like this in a how to make random things video or something like that um i don't remember but it was an old video and i did show you how to make bushings in that video but they are like the worst bushings don't listen to that video this is a better video it's it's new and improved better so yeah um let's not waste any more time and let's get this video started so first things first, I want to show you how these bushings look up close. So I'm using my macro lens, if you can't tell. And as you can see, the bushings have like kind of a shape to them. If I can get, at, let me get at a better angle. Yeah, they have a kind of like a, it curves up kind of shape. <laughs> Dang, they look really dirty with this macro lens. But, um, yeah, I've used these bushings, so if they use kind of, like, if they look kind of squishy, it's because I'm, I've used them before. And these are some swirl tie-dye ones. So, yeah, here they are. So, yeah, um, I'll, I'm going to show you all, all the materials that you will need right now. As for the materials, you're going to need, uh, any kind of, like, elastic, rubbery band. Band. And you're gonna need like one of those like um little what's it called? Use it to inflate like uh basketball, soccer balls and stuff like that. Um and the reason why you're gonna need this is to make the hole in the middle. Because it, as you can see, I don't know if it'll focus. No, it won't, but it has like a hole in the middle that gives it that hole in the middle of the bushing. You're gonna need a one eighth, if I'm not wrong, one eighth, um hole puncher uh that's what i use other people use those uh leather cutters or something like that but i just use a one eighth hole puncher and if you don't know where to get it you can get it at michael's or joann's or walmart i think so yeah uh you're gonna need a file and you're gonna need a, a drill and I, that's basically it uh, i guess you're gonna need water and a paper towel just to like clean them off at the end uh, so, yeah, I'm gonna go to my garage and, like, start making them, I guess. Or, I, I need to make the bushings first, so, yeah, I'll cut to making the bushing. So, by make the bushing, I mean you're gonna, I'm gonna do, like, get the shape of the bushing, so, like, the circular shape. And, um, get, give it the hole, and then I'm gonna go to my garage to give it the actual curved shape. So, what you're gonna do is you're gonna get your 1 8 hole puncher, and you're gonna look for a spot on your rubber band bracelet where it's kind of open and then you're gonna try and like I've used this one a lot so this is gonna be kind of hard but you're gonna look for an open spot make a hole in it if I can take it out yeah okay take it out and I would recommend you use like uh, not too thick or not too thin rubber band bracelet so you can get like a nice kind of thickness of a bushing. So yeah, you're going to repeat that process of making the bushing or the thingy. So yeah, I'm going to speed it up. <laughs> so now as you can see, I have all four of the little cutouts of the basically the whole bushing I guess so now what you're gonna do you're gonna get your um your needle well not needle but your air pumper needle for the 
for like basketball and stuff and you're gonna try to center it center it as best as possible and then push down with a good amount of pressure until you hear it like touch the table I guess I could say and then you're gonna wanna if it like comes off of the needle or whatever just put it back on and push it out And as you can oh, as you can see, we have the hole in the center, and it's pretty good. It's like the centering is pretty good. So yeah, there's one, and I'm gonna speed the process for the rest. <laughs> thing I want to point out making bushings isn't easy so if you get like stressed out because they come out wrong don't worry just like uh, make another one where are you bushing I just dropped one of the bushing found it So as you can see, all the bushings have the hole in the middle. So that makes it so much easier to get the hole perfectly because I used to do it with a smaller hole puncher just to do the hole in the middle. And oh my gosh, that was so stressful. It was so hard. But um, I'm glad uh, this technique is useful. So yeah, now I'm going to get to the part of sanding uh, the sides to give it that shape, the bushing shape, I guess. So I'm in my garage now, and I have my drill. It's just the plain drill, and I have the bushings and the and the little needle thing. <clears throat> so what you're gonna do is you're gonna get your needle um, or the air pump or whatever thingy majigger. You're gonna put it on your drill, just like that, and just start tightening it. So then you can have that little thing right there. Now you're going to get your bushing, or your halfway done bushing, and I don't know if you can tell, but one of the parts has like a thicker bottom, you can't really tell that much, but you're going to look for the side with the thicker, or the bigger bottom, and put that like as the bottom, I guess, and you're going to push it in, just like so, and then you're going to get Crap, I forgot the file, <laughs> so I'm going to go get that right now. Okay, so I'm back, and I'm pretty sure I'm not missing anything else, so I have my file, the bushing on the little needle thing, and yeah. So what you're going to do is you're going to go at an angle where the, let me get a better angle. So you're, what you're going to do is, okay, so as you can see, I'm going to go like this. So that the bushing starts going, like, downwards, I guess you could say. Or you can go like this, however. And just... <sighs> so I'm going to speed up this process so it's not really that boring. Okay. So as you can see... After sanding, and I just dropped it. <laughs> Let me look for that. Oh my gosh, I just found the bushing. That was crazy. Okay. Oh my gosh. So I have my macro lens now, and as you can see, it has that nice triangular shape, I guess you could say. <clears throat> and it is dirty as the sand, like, I guess the file gets the dirt on it. But that's easily cleaned with water and dried with a paper towel. So I'm going to speed up the process or cut to the, to me, already finishing shaping all four of the bushings. Or all the three that I, the three more that I have left. So yeah, I'll see you in a bit. To show you the difference I want to do in a before and after. So that's before when the bushing was barely just cut out and with the hole in it. And then after shaping it, it it looks taller and more triangular so that's pretty cool so i'll just cut off to me finishing shaping all of them just to let y'all know before i start making the bushing i'm sorry but it's kind of a bad idea to use this the air thingy the air the 
needle because it kind of like starts to wiggle and pop off. Like it comes back, it goes back on. I see that maybe I recommend y'all use a 116 to drill bit instead to put the bushing on when you're shaping the sides. So yeah, let's put it like that. Yeah, as you can see. So yeah, cut off to me like finishing shaping them. So it's really easy to clean them. All you're gonna do is carefully put them in your hand and curl your hands up. Open up the tap. Don't make it go too fast. So then you can, um, so then your bushings don't fly away or go down the drain. So yeah, just carefully just soak them in the water. Let them soak in there for a little bit. So and let the water go out carefully. And then you're gonna get your paper towel. Put them on the paper towel. I just squeeze the ball of, um, of paper towel just to dry them all up. And then, so you're gonna open the, up the paper towel carefully so you don't drop your bushings on the ground. By the way, just to make it easier, I would recommend that you, like, put in a cup and rinse them like that. Or, I mean, clean, like, soak them like that. So, yeah, I'll come back when they're clean. If you were wondering, like, if, um, teak tuning or chubs, or, well, like, chubs doesn't really, isn't really that active anymore. So, if you're wondering if they use, um, like, this method, I would say that they probably use a similar method, not the exact same. But, um... As you can see, I'll show you my bushing as a result. <clears throat> like, they're not at that perfectly clean. Like, I'll show you in the macro lens in a sec. But, um, y'all's bushing probably came out way better than mine. But, um, yeah, I guess I'm not that well, that good at making them. But, yeah, they're, um, just as, in conclusion, they're pretty good bushings, like, for an outdoor setup. For, um... A main setup they're probably good but they won't last that long they're probably good for maybe like a week to be honest but as a outdoor setup since you don't like one doesn't really care about an outdoor setup as much as a main setup so yeah that's why it's good for an outdoor setup so yeah, I'm gonna do some macro lens shots and thanks for watching the video don't forget to like comment subscribe and I'll see you in my next video guys